production camera board. It's a SJ1000. I know the 4000's out now, but this is one I bought. So that's what you get in the box. Sports DV, all the settings and all that. There's a link I'll post to the bloke who's done a proper unboxing. Shows you how it works, all the settings and all that. That's kind of what you get in the box. A few zip toys, handlebar clamp, uh, car charger, USB wire, uh, another mount that clips into things like these. So you've got a belt clip, you've got um, a couple of other attachments that actually clip in other attachments like that. You've got a GoPro adapter, so you can adapt that to a GoPro, so you can use all the GoPro mounts. You've got this, which you can use it out of its case, and you can screw it on. You've got a suction cup as well with a, with a quarter inch screw thread got a little belt clip as well, you've got all your straps and velcros, you've got a couple of stickable mounts as well, the little clip in, uh, you've got a helmet curve mount as well in there, you've got a few screws and all that, nice little lens cloth, and the camera itself, which, there you go, in its waterproof case, I think you can buy the cases, they're about £10 or something like that. It's got a little lock on it there, so you flip that. Then there you go. Got a little screen on there, you can operate from the outside. So there you go. Welcome. There we are. Camera working. Hello. As you can see, it's got quite a wide field of view, wider than my camera on this. So yeah. That's that, to get it out it's quite a tight fit, but that's what it looks like out, as you can see you've got LCD screen on it, the mic's there, your speaker's there, that's your lens, and if you have a little look through it, it's quite a wide field of view, so you get quite close, you do get a bit of fish eye effect on it, so that's what you get in the box anyway. Um, all the accessories I've unboxed them so you can have a little bit of look at them. Uh, this one here is your handlebar mount. This one clips into other things, but that's a normal belt mount. That's uh, another clip mount or clip into any of the helmet clips or anything, an adjustable thing on. Um, got a belt mount which I'll show you use for in a minute. Got one of these which I think adapts it to any GoPro mount. We've got the sucker mount as well. That you can attach onto a car or any slick surface. You've also got this mount here, which means you can use this when you're using it as a car DV. Uh, so you can do that. You can strap that onto any tripod or you can do whatever. Um, You've also got the helmet mounts there as well, I won't take them out because there's all the stickers in there. But you get two stickers for each, uh, two different shapes. And there's some more mounts in there. Then you get your car charger, your USB wire, a few bolts and that I think for other things. And all these straps. Um, in here, this will show you. Uh, all the different accessories and what the uses are. So, let's get a bit further away. Well, let's get a bit closer. And as you can see, you've got housings, installation, housing case mounting clip, helmet mounted, helmet can. So, it goes through quite a good source of what you can actually do with the mounts and how to use them, how to clip together. So if I take you through that. As you can see you can have it all mounted in or out of the case depending on which ones you use. Mainly I'll be using them in the case if I put them on any RC cars. Uh, but I might use them out of the case in other things. So there you are, you can even use it as a home security thing. 
So, if you want a more update, uh, in depth thing on how this camera actually works and all the menus and all that, there's a bloke, Techmoan, uh, T E C H M O A N, he's got a channel and he's reviewed this very well, very thoroughly. All the clips are up there of all the different um, film types it does from 1080. Uh, 30 to 720-60 which is actually 720-30 it's just double framed so if you can record in 720s you might as well record in 720-30 personally I'm going to try 1080-30 for what I'm doing uh, another thing with this I, had, I bought a head torch which is uh, just an LED one and something was wrong with it because it burnt out so yeah all that was fried but what I found a good use for this is if you get the uh, belt clip and pop that on there then hey presto we've got a head mount so we can have that there we can pop that cam in just it and do a bit of head tracking so you might see a few different style of videos coming up soon with that on there uh, so yeah that's my finished unboxing of the SJ1000 from I think it's SJ Cam. Um, you can get the SJ4000 now, which is probably better. It looks exactly like a GoPro, near enough copy of it. Um, but it's a lot cheaper, and also most of the accessories, if you've got a GoPro, the accessories pack will fit your GoPro. So it's worth getting that, so spending loads and loads of money on GoPro accessories, uh, all these kind of things. So all these should even fit. I have also bought one of these, which is like an adapter. So that may work. I've also got one of these. So you've got three suction cups, and then you push on suction, and you've got a little mount there for the top. So I might try sticking that on some cards or we'll see what we can do with it. Might hold down a bit better than just the one suction cup. So we'll try that. Also, another thing I've bought um, for use with this and use with other things like phone is this here self picture monopod it's got a phone end on it so you've got normal three things there so you can extend it pretty long as well um, you've also got the turning functionality on the top so you can have it whichever angle you want it you can take off this top piece here so if you want to use it just on a normal GoPro mount or screw it into the case of this then you can use it like that as well if you get it screwed on oh, probably easier yep that's how you do it so yeah then you can have whatever angle you want follow your car kind of thing or do a selfie if you want to do a selfie but yeah should be good for tracking cars and all that and with this mount here the phone's in its case at the moment but if you get that you can pull that out mount your phone in there and then if I get onto pictures and the phone wakes up you then got it mounted on your phone. Obviously, I need to take mine out of my leather case, but yeah, phone mount. So that's what we did one of the videos for um, with the slow mo with the camera on the phone. But it's hard to get the angle, so now with this, we tried a bit out the other day when we were drifting. I'll have to get that off calf because it looks quite good. Um, so yeah, 
with that and all this, it should be a new filming experience for me. Good learning curve. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Subscribe, comment if you've got any comments, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. So, I'll see you later. It's so the Sea Car Club, signing out. One thing I did miss out is I got myself one of these as well. So, it's a bendy clamp, you can bend it and clamp it around anything you want, any direction. So, yeah, should be good for out on the trails, getting that live screenshot. Have it however you want. Enjoy.